I'm gonna come at you with a great sales pitch and you're gonna want one of these. But are you being suckered? I spent $1,500 on this Thermomix and I do not regret it for a second. I wish I knew about it sooner. I love it and use it every single day, but you're not me. So before someone tries to pitch you this machine, I wanna make sure you're buying it for the right reasons and why you should avoid it. First and foremost, do you cook? This thing is like buying gym equipment. How many times have you purchased a piece of gym equipment thinking that now that you have it, you're gonna use it? Same goes for kitchen gadgets. Oh, now that I have this pasta maker, I'm gonna be making fresh pasta every day. No, you're not. Or do you think that by having it on the counter that it's gonna magically make you wanna cook? I cook for a living. And you know what I like to do on my day off? Cook. For me, the greatest thing about this machine is the Cook I Do app. By unchecking this one little button in the filters, I'm introduced to a world of over 92,000 recipes. I mean, wow. I've been exploring every day and saving a list of recipes from all over the world that I want to try down the road. It's fantastic. And the recipes are rated by a community of users so you can tell in advance if the recipe is worth pursuing. But ask yourself, I mean really try to block out all the features of this machine and ask yourself, am I the type of person who's looking for something fast, new and delicious? Or am I just happy to order takeout all the time? Do I even care about swapping out healthy ingredients and making it myself? Or do I just want it pre-made? Because if you're gonna buy this and then just stick to your old ways, you're wasting your money. Talk about wasting your money. Is it worth the $1,500 price tag? That all depends on you. They will try to lure you in with 12 months of interest-free financing, so this machine will be around $125 a month for a year. They will also try to motivate you to sell it to your friends and family, and that will get you a unit for free if you're willing to take on another side gig. But getting back to buying one. $125 a month may or may not be a lot of money for you. I don't know your budget. But one thing is for sure, you will be eating food regardless of whether or not you purchase one of these machines. I recently met with a retirement planner. You know what the most expensive part of retiring is? Eating. Your food costs don't go down, but your income does. So if you think you're spending a lot now on food, wait until you're on a fixed budget. $125 a month comes down to about $4.11 US dollars per day. So if you spend more than $4.11 per day on pre-made food, then this will save you a lot of money. But no matter how you break it down, it's still a $1,500 investment and you still have to use it. Let's talk about if you are actually getting $1,500 worth of equipment or are you buying a marketing scam? If you live anywhere outside of China, the Thermomix you purchase will be made in either France or Germany. Vorwerk, the company that makes Thermomix has been in business for over 140 years, so you're getting a well-made machine. So if you see one for cheap, it may have been a model that was made for China, and guess what? It's locked for China, and you can't use it outside of China. Make sure that whoever is selling it to you is an actual Thermomix consultant. It does a lot, besides what you think it does, because it looks like a food processor, and it is, so it slices, grates, and blends for sure, and because of the built-in computer software and app, you have complete control of how it grinds and grates. You can now have longer-lasting whole spices in your pantry and grind them as you need them. How long have you had ground spices in your cabinet? Well, they're probably stale, and they probably will cost some serious cash to replace. It can do sous vide. It is an awesome dough mixer. It ferments. It will cook the perfect eggs and rice. It's a slow cooker. In a commercial kitchen, it is indispensable for making sauces. You can steam with it. It has a built-in scale. You can stir food in it that requires heat without having to babysit a pan with a spatula and it will hold food at whatever temperature you need. So if you don't have any kitchen equipment or you live in an apartment with a small kitchen, it's a good investment. If you're tired of looking at a full counter and are looking to save some space, it's a good investment. If an expensive kitchen appliance is on its way out, then it could be a worthwhile investment. But if you have a bunch of great gear, ask yourself, do I want to replace it all? Because if you're happy with what you have, you may want to reconsider buying a Thermomix. Personally, I hate having to pull out appliances and I hate having to clean anything with blades. The Thermomix does a pretty good job of cleaning itself. And it is safe and easy to disassemble if I need to. Also, consumables like the mixing blade are reasonably priced if you actually wear it out. And that brings us up to question number three. 
will you actually wear out the blades? In other words, are you going to use it? What is the time commitment? Does it actually speed up the cooking process? In all honesty, a resounding yes and no. There are recipes that save you a ridiculous amount of time, like the absolutely delicious broccoli red pepper salad. I mean, by the time you chop a pepper with a knife manually, the whole salad, which will feed four, is done. My wife and I made it the other day and from start to finish it took 2 minutes and 47 seconds. Then there are recipes where I feel that people kind of make a recipe for Thermomix where making it on Thermomix isn't really necessary. By the way, you can create and modify any recipe that you like and then save it. We'll talk about that a little later. I made this amazing Thai style chicken soup. It's like a Tom Kha Gai. Absolutely delicious. Kind of don't need a Thermomix to make it. But what the Thermomix did allow me to do was find such a great and easy recipe with a backing of solid reviews. Besides the scale, which is one of my absolute favorite built-in time savers on the Thermomix, my favorite feature of the Thermomix is the community. I love that there are lots of Facebook groups with people from all over the world that try, create, and discuss recipes. It's given me so many great ideas, ideas I would have never been able to be introduced to without a Thermomix. For example, this German recipe that I have added to my list of must-try recipes, Pfeffernus, it's a German spice biscuit. It was a suggestion on one of the Facebook groups I belong to. This machine has proven to be a huge time saver. Every day, unique and interesting ways to use the Thermomix keep popping up. My favorite surprise was how easy it is to make powdered sugar. Powdered sugar usually has additives in it, some of which you may be allergic to, like corn. Let's make some powdered sugar from start to finish. I really don't use powdered sugar in my home that often, so this machine allows me to have one less ingredient in the pantry. And speaking of ingredients, what if you want to speed up the cooking process of your favorite recipe at home? I make the best pate on the planet. There will be a link to how I make it in a playlist at the end of this video. Check that out. I'm going to create that recipe and share it with the world with the Cook I Do app. And let's talk about that app and what you may or may not like about it. First of all, the built-in shopping list, it saves me a ton of time. Once I plan to make a recipe, I can add the ingredients to my shopping list, modify the list, and then either to have it delivered to me, ready to be picked up, or just go get it myself. That in itself is worth the price of the app. The downside, the app's not free. It's around $60 a year or about $5 a month. Now I spend so much time and money finding recipes and buying cookbooks that for me, it's worth every penny. You do not need the app to use the machine, and you can still save your favorite recipes without the app. And since you get six months of the app for free, when you buy the machine, you can download as many recipes as you want, and they will stay there if you decide that the app is not for you, and then you can just cancel the subscription. I've been as open and honest as I can about the Thermomix. I would never associate myself with a product I don't believe in. I am an official Thermomix consultant. That means that if you're interested in it, you can use my link in the description to get yours. If you do, I will give you exclusive access to live streams where you can ask questions and we can build and tweak recipes together. You also will be able to communicate with me through email and you will have access exclusively and privately to my Thermomix Discord. Take a look at this full review of Thermomix and the day I spent with the New England Regional Branch Manager going through all the features. And also try my amazing duck pate recipe. Videos there. Cheers.